YouTube, how's it going? It's your guy Nutty Poo back with episode six of our Pittsburgh Pirates rebuild franchise today. And today was a really fun one. We have Chad Cool taking the mound against the New York Mets. The Mets are throwing Thor out there. Noah Syndergaard should be a really, really fun matchup. Hopefully the Bucko Bats can keep it rolling. Uh, they've hit very well since I've taken them over in the few quick count games that I've played up to this point. Hopefully we can keep it going against the Mets. We are also at the All-Star break, which means I'm going to show you guys all of the All-Stars for the AL and NL, who are the leading vote getters, and who ended up being our All-Star from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Finally, what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to do a player lock game with one of the big prospects in the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise, Travis Swaggerty. Travis Swaggerty is a center fielder. He's going to be a big part of the outfield moving forward if he can hit and develop. Um, outside of that, I can't wait to get into this for you guys. Let's check it out. Let's see how it went. All right, so we're going to be playing in City Field. Like I said, we have Quick Pounce on. We do have Rain game here. We have Chad Cool on the mound, like I said, against Noah Syndergaard. Our lineup looks like this. Kevin Newman, DHing, batting first. Brian Reynolds in left field, batting second. Colin Rand at first base. Gregory Polanco in right field. Key Brian Hayes at third base. Adam Frazier batting sixth in the second base. Dustin Fowler in center field batting seventh. Jacob Stallings batting eighth. And Eric Gonzalez shortstop batting ninth. Finally, the Mets have Villar, Nimmo, Dom Smith, Pete Alonzo, Conforto, Jeff McNeil, J.D. Davis, Francisco Lindor batting eighth. That is a pretty stacked lineup there for the Mets. Hopefully, Chad Cool is in, on his A game today. Otherwise, he's going to get beat around a little bit. There is rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. Tonight I actually love City Field personally. I think it's a very, very good-looking uh, stadium overall. Uh, I've always been a big fan of show. you know those those both parks in New York, actually both City and Yankee Stadium. So this should be a fun one for me. Like I said, we got Thor on the mound. He Noah is Syndergaard, pitching right pretty well so far. 9-2 on the year with a 3-1-8 ERA in 110 in innings. Hey, uh, whip a 1-3-1 with 28 walks and 95 strikeouts. It's pretty good for Thor there. First at bat with Kevin Newman. He's hitting 295 on the year. Oh, God. Got to speed myself up. Up. Alonso has a Ooh, pop up One to away. Pete Alonso there. Unfortunate first at bat for Kevin Newman. I'm really gonna have to speed myself up. Thor is throwing heat, can hit 100 miles per hour on that sinker. That is not easy to catch up with. Mm. Rough swing there, JD Davis. Unfortunate. Brian Rounds is out. Makes hard contact, though. All right, green light here for Colin Rand. Good take, and we're able to get our first base runner on a walk. Misses. Pretty good right there, forcing Noah Syndergaard to throw a lot of pitches here in the opening inning. Already 15 pitches up. so far. And he, misses and he walks Gregory Polanco as well. Back two walks guys. in the first inning. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Oh, oh, get through. Oh, unfortunate. He Brian Hayes rounds out to Thor there. He's able to get it to first base. The two walks don't come back to bite him. Cool. Now we have Chad Cool on the mound. 16 games played, 6 and 5 on the year. 4 1 3 RA. Not great. 1 6 2 whip. 72 strikeouts, 61 walks. Also not great there. Hopefully he has a good outing here today, though. We're going to try to throw a lot of sinkers down the zone to this Mets lineup. Right, let's see if we can get him out with the changeup here. Oh, not a good, not a good pitch there at all. Inside sinker. This team is kind of in a little bit of a Ooh, cruises that. Adam Frazier is able to get over to it. And that's a big out number one for Jonathan Villar. He does a little bit of all of those things. Oh, he went. Okay, we get that first strike out of the day. Chad Cool. It's a good pitch there. Dom Smith up now, 1-1 one, one count. Going with the curveball to start it. Oh, hung it a little bit. He grounds out. Key Brian Hayes is able to get deep into the hole to make that play. Gets it over Colin Moran. That's a quick first inning for Chad Cool. Love it. That swing there by Adam Frazier rolls over the sinker. 
No center guards rolling here, man. He's he's gonna be uh he's gonna be a tough cookie to crack here. Three and two to Dustin Fowler. Hopefully we can force him to make a good pitch. Oh, he does. Dots me inside with the sinker. Can't do anything with that. Very unfortunate. There we go, Jacob. Able to put that back up the middle for a nice single. Jacob Stallings, one of my favorite pirates. He's kind of that unsung hero. Yeah, uh, gold Glove or er, finalist last year. Hopefully he can keep it going this year in real life. He has up to this point had a very, very good month. Into the box, Eric Gonzalez. Eric Gonzalez is able to get it through a hole there. Runners on first and second with two outs. Heading out towards shallow. Mm, got underneath that, pops it up. And the two out threat. Conforto is able to make that play. In right field there. Right All right, we're going to put him a sinker in on the hands the up high. See if we can get the out. The Swings the underneath good it. Pete Alonzo strikes out. Out of baby Chad Cool. Chad Cool, very That's good start so Michael far. Uh, but this Mets lineup is scary because you never know when they're going to hit you. There's always a fear. Every person that comes up is a really, really good player. And right as I say that, Michael Conforto just takes me deep. Oh, Chad Cool. Unfortunate. Conforto just unloads on that one. Got out in a hurry. 110 miles per hour off the bat. 5.16 hang time. Wow. 417. Conforto got every piece of that. Rip. He's got that big pop. Oh, my God. Jack McNeil gets it, too. Into the gap. Around first, digging for two. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Okay. Come on, cool pitch. All right, let's see if we can get JD Davis we'll to swing on this slider out of the zone. Got him he can. Chad Cool comes back well with a big strike out there to get two outs. Right. Francisco Lindor, 2 1 here. Ready with the 2 1. Oh, we'll get to that. Oh, no. The throw home. And he ah. in there at the plate. It's brings another one home. Polanco and his noodle arm out there in right field can't make the play. Unfortunately, the Mets are now up two. Nothing over your Pittsburgh Pirates. One two count here on James McCann, though. We'll go out of the zone with the slider, see if we can get him. And we are able to get him out end of the second inning. The Mets do put up a couple in that inning, unfortunately, off of the uh, Jeff McNeil double and the big homer by Conforto out to center field. Unfortunate. As we are all set We've gotten a few hits off of Syndergaard. We've gotten a few walks. Get down. Nope. Dom's able to get over and make that play. Wow, Colin. I need you to hustle there, my dude. Yikes. Gregory Polanco. And this one misses. Can. Gregory Polanco walked for the second time today. In real life, he likely would have struck out on that pitch. Oh my god. Key Brian Hayes rolls over the sinker. Thor is able to get out and get that ball over to first base to end the inning. Unfortunate. All right, Jonathan VR back to the top of the order for the Mets here. He's able to get that through the hole, man. They're starting to get to Chad Cool here. Not not a good uh, look for him so far. It's a good pitch. Well, that was a good slider in. Way to fight back there, Chad Cool. Wow, Dom, Dom Smith goes down on called third strike there. Chad Cool, fifth strikeout in the game. He's getting a lot of swing and misses. Unfortunately, he's also given up a lot of hard contact. So. Mm. Get him to roll over to Eric Gonzalez at shortstop. Gets it over to Colin Rand and digs it out. Adam Frazier. Into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. Dom Smith with the sliding out there. That is uh, 
there to haul it down. Now, really be careful. Justin that's Fowler, 191 the below the Mendoza so line for the year. Not great for him. Goes perfect, perfect there right up the middle, the though. It's that really nice hit. Sinker was way out of the zone. Should not have swung at that, but we'll take perfect, perfect hits all day. Nice. Good take there for Jacob Stallings. And he misses again. Good take. Ball Base is juiced here. One out. Kevin Newman up to bat. Need you come through here, Kevin. Need you to come through. This is a big moment in this game. Love that. Let's go, Kev. Oh, man. He gets a bad animation there, too. Let's go. Kevin Newman unloads the bases with a one-out double in the fourth inning. And your Pittsburgh Pirates take the 3-2 lead. And then Brian Reynolds gets a hit there. We're going to send Kevin Newman. Should beat the throw. Let's go, baby. Up 4-2 now. Brian Reynolds comes through with the RBI single. 2-2. Let's call him ran here. Oh, that's a double play ball. There it is. Oh, wow. He pulls him off the base with the throw. Colin Moran is able to reach on an air. See if we can make that punishment. Gregory Polanco, if there's ever time to hit a dinger, now is that. Oh, that might be it. Greg. Let's go. Gregory Polanco with the dinger. 394. That got out in a hurry. So we make them pay for, for the two-out error. Eighth home run on the season for him as they open it up Love it. To six to two now. You don't see Let's this go, Greg. And and a right no Syndergaard going throw. low on energy and also on confidence. Out Missing his pitches. Right. Is that going right to get down? Chase. It does He's not. Track it down no Syndergaard's is. able to get out of the inning, but not before the Pirates put six big runs on him. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out good pitch. I like he might beat this out, though. Adam Frazier, no, able to get it from his deep position in the shift. Had a baby sudden. Might let him go a little bit deeper into this, maybe six innings before we turn it over to the bullpen. Nice. He's getting a lot of ground outs with that sinker today. That's huge. J.D. Davis now. J.D. Davis struck out in his first at bat. Love it. Three straight ground outs there. Chad Cool quick inning, and the fourth inning is over. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing. Adam Frazier gets that down the line. All Adam Frazier does is hit. That'll help the trout the trade value a little bit. He gets him over to second with a nice stand up double there. Might as well fish a little bit further. And he turns this one around high and deep Dustin Fowler hits that very hard out to center field. Should get Adam Frazier home. Jordan Yamamoto looking much like he did in his first outing, only going a third of an inning. And Dustin Fowler and Adam Frazier scored on him again here. Unless we get a good pitch to hit here. That was not a good pitch to hit. Don't even know why I bothered to swing at that. Lindor is able to come in, make that play over to first base. Pete Alonso, one out for Jordan Yamamoto in the mix. Eric Gonzalez, 230 on the year. Wolf. Able to get another hit there, though. I'm going to send uh, him home here. Should be a nice, easy score there. And your Pittsburgh Pirates up 8-2. to two. Really getting the bats right going here. This is honestly kind of what I was talking about earlier, though, uh, in episode one, where I said I'm going to start on Hall of Fame. If it's too easy, I'll jump up to legend. It, it's feeling kind of easy. <laughs> so maybe we jump up to legend. That'll help me practicing, you know, across the board. Should be a double play. There it is. Spoke too soon. Welcome Roll over to a double play the there. Here's Heidi Watney. Ooh, we're Red going to a rain is. delay? This one is going to be delayed as the crew chief has made the call Ooh. to suspend action. You know, man, I just I'm going to warm the up the fresh arm here. Chad Cool has had a pretty delay. good outing we so far, but sky, so I mean, I it's not worth to bring him in after that rain delay. We'll get Sam Howard up and moving. And welcome back. It's cleared up. Why, did, why is he cold when you warm him up? The is there any way around that? Delay as we are oh, no. And he comes up baseball. immediately, gets hit around by Lindor. This could be a triple bases. here. 
Only a double. That's unfortunate. And a full count for James McCann. Three balls and two strikes. Oh, no, that's going to get through, isn't it? And that's through into right. Blanco and his noodle arm has no shot here. And he's going to score with ease as the oh, Francisco Lindor is able to come in. Sam Howard comes in and immediately gives up a quick run there. We're going to get someone up in the bullpen because obviously Sam might not have it. We'll go Chris Stratton. Uh, I don't want to go Kyle Crick this early. To be honest, a lot of our bullpen is not doing well as far as uh, energy goes. So. It would have been nice if it wouldn't have been rainy and we could have gotten a little bit more inning or a couple more innings out of Chad Poole, but is what it is. Right. Full count to Jonathan Villar here. We're going to see if we can get him with the changeup. Oh, my God. He gets that through, too. Oh, rip. All right. Man, those are two not good swings there that give them two hits. So now to the plate, Brandon Nimmo, swinging a ground ball to third. When it isn't your night, it is not your night, and it is not Sam Howard's night tonight. He comes in, promptly gives up two runs. We are going to go ahead and go to the bullpen here. We're going to go to a mound visit first, give him a couple more seconds. Then we're going to go to Chris Stratton out of the bullpen. See if we can get Dom Smith to strike out here. Now this is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get two. And he's safe. He's not going to even get one there. Oh my god, that's bad defense by me, but woof. Alonzo very very much could tie this ball game with one swing. Chris Ratton fights back there, gets that strikeout. That's a huge out number one in this inning. Now Michael Conforto up. He hit a home run in his last at bat. Oh wow, and he gets another hit there. Once again, Gregory Polanco and his noodle arm cannot throw anyone out at home. It's an 8-6 ball game. The Mets are coming just roaring back here. That's Let's go. Get me out of the inning. Woo. Getting scary here for your Buckos. Down the first baseline. He's got it. Brian Reynolds swings at a bad pitch there, rolls over it for an out number one. Oh, I rolled over that. Wow, that four-seamer had a lot more movement than I thought it was going to. Okay. I can get on it with Blanco. My swing underneath that. Yamamoto comes out for a strong sixth there. Holds us to no, no base runners. Oh, here's to hoping Chris Stratton can do the same. Gives up loud contact. That's a out, loud out number one. So here is Francisco Lindor. Oh, Francisco Lindor brings out that Adam Fraser there. Love it. Huge. I'm almost wondering if I can make Chris Stratton go three innings here. It's not kind of his forte, but I mean, we need to eat some innings. Not going to be able to get through there. And the throw to first Close play. Time, so the Francisco Lindor is able to get it out for out number one, seven. though. Pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Grounds it out. Second baseman McNeil there. Two, there two for three, with a two for three on, on the day with so a single far. and a double. Oh, that's a right. horrible Rain swing there. In. Cutter throw outside gets me there. That sidearm the action. Side that's out number three. We're to the, you're rolling. You still have half energy. Love it. Let's see if we can get you three innings here, buddy. Great pitch. Jonathan Villar swings over the top of that. Out number one. All right, Brandon Nimmo for a four-seamer down and away. Rolls over that. Chris Stratton makes the play. Hopefully a quick seventh inning here. Oh, bad walk there for Chris Stratton. Starting to get tired here. Oh, wow, shatters the bat. Hard play here for Adam Frazier, able to get it over for out number three, and that's the end of the seventh. Get a couple up in the bullpen here. Uh, Kyle Crick, warm him up. We can go ahead and sit down Clay Holmes here. Rich Rodriguez should be our setup man on our closer here. Save opportunity as of right now. We'll change that up if we can get something going here. Got him. The slurve oh, Batances, that slurve coming out of his hand, no shine. I'm going to be honest, man, this is not easy. 
Not easy to read right now. Lofted in the air out Eric Gonzalez right just off of that. You see, yeah, just a little bit off. Good timing. He gets there, and that's the second he's done his job. Period. The end. Chance to toss a scoreless inning right here with two down. They're only down two. A bloop and a blast. Uh, we'll right. have to Middle of the eighth. Pop the out there with uh, Kevin Newman. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We are going to go to the bullpen here. Uh, we're going to bring in Kyle Crick. Hopefully, he can get the hold here. Kyle Crick can get on base. Yeah, Woo. that has to be his Get to that Bri Rye. Right now, Able to get a big out number one there so for Kyle Crick. He can to get game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Okay. Inside, okay. he misses ball four. Now Brown gets up for the three two. Oh, so wow. Down the line. And that'll get oh, no. Polanco is on his way home. And the runner will score from first. Here comes oh, the he's sending him. He's toast. Oh, and the tag will get him at the plate. <gasps> the Thank God they sent him there. If they leave him at third, that was such a bad animation for Polanco. Killing me. Two-seamer off the plate and away. Great pitch. Please get to that, Adam Frazier. Oh, God. Gregory Polanco single-handedly trying to lose us this game right now. Between his arm in right field and his inability to make plays, good lord. It's okay, though. Got Rich Rod to hopefully come in and close down the ninth. Not a good swing there. That's okay. Brian Reynolds out number one. As long as he keeps it above the letters. Oh my god. I'm so late on that slurve. I cannot read it out of his hand at all. Big time. Oh god. Not even close. Woo. Kansas comes in and just shuts me down there. All right. High leverage situation. Time to put your closer in the game. See if you can lock it down. Richard Rodriguez. Welcome in. Clips the inside black. Slider away. That's We've been striking out nice on this pitch all night. See if we can get him again. And in on the hands. We can. Big strike out there for out number one by Richard Rodriguez. Easily. And we're he back to the top of the order. Johnson Villar up. 1-1. One, one. Great pitch. Oh, is he going to beat that out? Come on, Adam. Let's go big out number two. Richard Rodriguez, get us out of this. Get us the win so we can raise the Jolly Roger, please. Brandon Nemo, one and two. Rolls it over. Get on your high horses. And go ahead and raise the Jolly Roger. Your Buckos win it eight to seven over the New York Mets in a absolute barn burn. A lot of offense there, man. Gregory Polanco single-handedly tried to lose us that game, but it's okay because he hit a home run earlier in the game that kept us in it. All right, so Sam Howard gave up four earned runs there. Can't believe he ends up getting the win. Was not deserved. Gregory Polanco goes one for three with a home run. Kevin Newman goes one for five with a double. Dustin Fowler goes two for four with a double. Eric Gonzalez goes two for three with an RBI. Uh, no Syndergaard. I beat him around a little bit early in the game. Conforto goes two for four with that big home run. Francisco Lindor, thorn in my side, two for four with a double. Jeff McNeil goes one for three with a double. And J.D. Davis goes one for four with a triple. So that was your Buckos last game before the All-Star break, which means it's time to check out who made the All-Star teams from the AL and NL. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to simulate through the All-Star game and the Home Run Derby. Uh, I don't think that'd be, I don't know, that might be enjoyable for you guys. Let me know if you want me to show that year two. But let's go ahead and see who we at least get in the All-Star game. And let's check it out right now. For the NL, your rotation is Scherzer, Paddock, Marcus Stroman, Jacob DeGrom, and Clayton Kershaw. Your relievers are Lisa Hernandez, Ryan Harper. Rich Rod is our all-star for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Love to see it. He's had a great season. Kenley Jansen, Brad Han, Edwin Diaz, and Josh Hader. For the AL all-stars, we have Kenta Maeda, Zach Plesak, Sean Manaya, Michael Pineda, and Garrett Cole, I can see Ian Kennedy and Rysiel Iglesias there as well. Wish I could see a little bit more, but that's okay. Our starters for your NL All-Star team are Ronald Acuna Jr. in right field, Jesse Winker in left, Juan Soto at DH, Cody Bellinger in center, Corey Seager at shortstop, Freddie Freeze at first, Will Smith at catcher, Manny Machado at third base, and Keston Hira at second. 
JT Real Muto and Yadi catchers on the bench. Christian Walker, first baseman. Adam Frazier got a second all-star there at second base. That'll help the trade value a little bit. Chris Bryant, third base. Trevor Story at short, along with Milmer Flores. Drake Cronenworth, Mookie Betts, Will Myers, Andrew McCutcheon are your all-star bench pieces. Former Pirate Andrew McCutcheon, I guess I should say. Uh, what I can see on that AL All-Star, it's Whit Merrifield at second, Xander at short, JD at left, Jordan at, uh, I guess, in right, Jose Ramirez at third, Jose Altuve, DH, and George Springer in center, and Luke Voigt at first. So the rest of the rotation is Taylor Rogers, Rald Chapman, Ryan Presley, James Karinchak, and Kirby Yates. And the rest of the bench is Yasmani Grandal at catcher, Tom Murphy and Francisco Mejia on the bench, Renato Nunez and Whit Merrifield, Michael Franco, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, who's coming on in real life as he's coming on here in the game, Rafi Devers and Bregman at third, Mike Trout not starting but all star reserve, Jordan Alvarez in left, Randy Rosarena in left as well. That is your AL all star team. So overall, we have Rich Rod and Adam Frazier as our. Uh, All-star recipients, they're both probably going to get traded within the next week or so. So uh, uh, helps that trade value out for sure. So after the All-star break, it's time to see where how the All-star game went. We'll check out the box score in that real quick. But then we're going to do a player lock of our outfield prospect, Travis Swaggerty. I believe he's currently the ninth rated prospect in the Pirates uh, real life farm system. I have him a little bit higher in our farm system. Him and Hudson Head are the big prospects in the uh, outfield for us. Moving forward, we also picked up a couple in the draft as well, but Hudson Head and Travis Swaggerty are the two real ones. Let's see how Travis Swaggerty's debut goes. All right, so Travis Swaggerty is playing center field and batting sixth. Hopefully, we can get a couple of nice hits here with him. Stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Altoona Curve and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. It's baseball. It's the show. He loses and we are able to work four. the walk with Travis Swaggerty. That's as big a time there. Pitcher, I can tell you. Next to hit, Drew Ferguson. Nice center field experience here, potentially. And the Fly ball Easy pop up center. for Travis. No one on base, so we don't have Swaggerty to worry about that. There for the catch nice and, nice and easy. Line drive to center field. Hey. Oh, I get robbed. Catch. Wow. Oh, great contact there. Great swing by Travis Swaggerty, and we get absolutely robbed by the center fielder there. So now into the box Just painful. 20. Could not be more painful. Defense the needs to get going thing. right here. You want to try and 20. tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory. Nice, where you're gonna start seeing nice the back easy end play there for Travis. And that was frustrating. That should have been a hit. Great play by the center fielder. Get through. Let's go, baby. Swagger to get to back up the middle for a nice hit there. Is this is just a one-run game. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge Get down. Lifted down the line and Let's go, Swaggerty. Oh, he's going to get the double there because of the bad defensive play. Is he going to turn it into three? He is. Let's go, baby. Travis Swaggerty, I don't know what they're going to rule that. It's a triple. They give him the triple on the bad defensive play. Got a single and a triple on the line score for Travis Swaggerty in this game. We will take that. All right. Runner on second here might have a chance to make a play at third base. High in the air out to center field. Swaggerty is there. Two He's not going to run on me. Good throw into third base though. Hold him there. We get another three. another chance here. Extra inning rule. And now Top of the ninth. Time Travis to come through, Swaggerty. Travis. So far, two for Runner three on second. Let's go, baby. Here's the first pitch. Hit in the air oh, he the cruises that. Center. Cruises that into the gap. Let's go, baby. Second triple of the game for Travis Swaggerty. Big, big RBI there. He gives us back the lead. Now we're up five to three. There's runners on first and second here. One out. See if once again we can hold a runner from going to three there. Nice. Let's go, baby. Get out of it, Blake. 
Blake Cedarlin needs to come in and get it closed. Oh my God, they come back to tie it. What are you doing? Get through. Travis Swaggerty is out here glitchy with another RBI there in extra innings. Big play after big play for Travis. And we end up finally getting the win on the back of me, honestly. Travis Swaggerty goes four for five with two triples, two RBIs. He should have actually went five for five if it wasn't for a diving catch. That is our best player lock debut so far. Let's go, Travis. So, yeah, chat, that's another episode of our Pirates franchise down. This was a lot of fun. That first game against the Mets was high intensity with the 8-7 to seven win. Uh, I really thought we were going to end up blowing that. And then you guys got to see what the All-Star game looked like for year one of our franchise. And then finally, Travis Swaggerty with the big debut going 4-5. for five, Could have very easily went 5-5, five for five, including two big hits and extras to give his team the lead. That is awesome there for Travis Swaggerty, and it's one of the reasons I am so excited for him to come up to the majors eventually. That's about it for our video today, but if you guys wouldn't mind, feel free to drop this video a like and also subscribe to our channel. We're closing in on 1,000 subs. We are so close. If you guys could get me there, that would be much appreciated. We will see you guys soon. Be sure to check me out over on Twitch. My Twitch link is in the description down below. I stream Mondays through Thursdays every week at 8.15 Eastern Time. Feel free to follow me over on TikTok as well as Twitter. On TikTok, we just hit 40,000 followers, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, all of the support over there has been much appreciated. You guys, that was a really fun video. I'm going to try to start getting these out more regularly now that we're doing them completely off stream. We will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.